All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We are going to be driving out the Crab Armored Scout car. So, in Crab stands for Combat Reche Armored Buggy, and Reche, or is it Reche, uh, is short for Reconnaissance. Maybe it's Reche. I don't know. Resi? Reese's? Reese's Pieces? We got 18 gems on this mother trucker. Let's hear what we got to do. Sorry to drag you through the forest. Yeah, you're dragging me, bro. NPAA forces are gunning for the missiles we've hidden out there. Intel reports they plan on using the missiles against the capital. Well, they better I'll not. I'll send you the silo coordinates. Rude. You must stop them. Enemy forces are moving towards the eastern silo. If you Lost take the guidance. bridge, try not stop to follow. Stop the fire. Lost guidance. Hello, friends. Oh, everyone! everyone's stuck on me here. I'm the armored car, but right now, um, it comes stock with a 25mm gun. Oh, shit. Ooh, no pen. We missed. Identify. Good hit. Off awesome. the tank. No effect. Man, this is kind of tricky. Yeah, but the 25 millimeter auto cannon took out T-72s during operations in Iraq, so that's pretty cool. Oh, reloading. 20 seconds. So we only have ATGMs. I opted to try. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this thing is honestly these armored cars are harder to uh, <laughs> to operate than tanks in my opinion. Oh, we've got a senior BMP3 coming up. Ooh, a stingray. Okay. But I just love ATGMs so much, so it's worthless to. I probably won't get a lot of kills this game. Oh, give me that side shot. Tank. Man, that guy's just eating us up. That's a Ramka. Or was that a Terminator? Anyway, yeah. So you can have a 25mm autocannon, you can upgrade it to a 30mm, or you can do ATGMs. I opted for ATGMs. Look at all these leopards, man. These things are basically just like, alright, Baron. You you and your little ATGMs are pretty cute, but they do have a few weak spots. Oh, we can hit them. And I'm not sure. Here we go. Oh, rearming. See right there? The side of the turret, or the rear, rather, of that turret, is a very pop or a very good spot to shoot. Because otherwise, like those, those are really, really strong, well armored tanks. So everyone's just hanging back here. T90 is acting like kind of like a, a sniper. We got a BMP 3M. I actually do want to play the BMPs because I think they're a versatile weapons platform where you could probably upgrade. I wonder if you can get AT gems. I actually have never played them. All right, we're looking for the weak spots. No effect. Hostile no PC. Effect. Oh shit. Good hit. Come on. Reloading. Target down. There we go. We got two kills. Oh, we've got two kills so far. We're down to 18 ATGMs. I do have if you look on. Oh shit. Taking Oh. Don't let your guard down, Black Combat. Wow. Don't let your guard down. But um, I'm having a lot of fun with this. This is this car, this armored car. I believe it's made by Panhard, which is a French company. It almost looks like. Ooh, here we go. Target hit. Ooh, nice. Good hit. Target eliminated. Hell yeah, boys. All right, someone told me this is what I love about your comments because we have some like really really good aces. Um, for the various games that I play, but they told me that if you press C You can individually reload C because I have four missiles um, And once you fire them All four it reloads right and it takes a while it takes about what 20 something odd seconds So when you're out of combat like this, I only had one left in the uh, little quad launchers Look at that. Who's the better car now you little bitch? but um Oops, they're capping, so we gotta get there and not let them cap. But this thing is incredibly fast. I think it's a little more difficult to maneuver. It's more like a traditional car. Duh. Hostile tank. Hostile tank. Ooh, Paladin. There's Paladin 6! Nailed him. Did we get that? No, we did not. It's alright. This guy's gonna die! <laughs> I love these ATGMs, man. Like... It's, that's one of the coolest things, so check this out, right? I can steer them. Direct 
<laughs> and end up like so if ooh, ooh, if you're really good you can steer them like away from reactive armor oh shit it's a trap friend oh we're reloading look at that that's a terminator 2 that one doesn't have oh it does have the ATGMs, doesn't it we're still reloading no effect my tits oh did you see that it missed Awesome. Reloading. Alright, so now while we're reloading, we can relocate a bit. Scout things out, see what's going on. See what everyone's doing. Say hi to our brothers and arms. Oh! And then hit the brakes real hard. Challenger 2. Oh, wow. Look at the armor on this bad boy. Eat that, Challenger. Oh, he moved. Woo! Look at that! We got six kills. I was actually thinking that we wouldn't have too many kills. But the one thing is, like, if I didn't have that number nine, if you look at number nine on my hot bar, my weapons bar. You see that? Like, my little uh, oscillation in my hand there. I don't know if that's proper vocabulary word. English is my primary language. <laughs> um, like, uh... Like, we're pretty much out of ATGMs, and we still got eight minutes left, so I bought this premium... Ooh, give me that. Give me that. He's gonna go I down here. Awesome. Up. Wow, team's doing work, boys. So we've got three missiles left, but if I press nine, then I'll get uh, rearmed on all of my primary armament. This is only available for PvE. Which I think is good. It's not available for PvP. Challenger 2. Are we capping? No, I, I get. we just have to defend this. Let's see if there's a spot we can kind of get to. A little sniping, camping spot type of thing. Because normally we'd be like a scout armored car, but I feel like when you don't have your auto cannons and you have your ATGMs, you're more of a, a, of a sniper. There will be more coming, though. There will be more coming. NDAA forces are heading to the western side of Thunderbolt. Heads up, Black Company. Enemy intel and recon trucks are in the area. It's a bit out of your way, but if you can take them out, they'll lose their eyes and ears in this battle. Direct hit. Direct hit. Now we've got to do... Look at this. Pressing 9. I go back up to 30 ATGMs. Otherwise, we'd pretty much be useless. That's why generally I would go for an auto cannon, probably. But I really love the anti-tank guided missiles, namely because I can't experience that in any other game that I play right now. Not World of Warships. <laughs> Although, like, oh gosh. Surface to surface missiles. Get wrecked, son. Oh, wow. You're going to take up two of my missiles? Rude. Oh, shit. Got to hit that weak spot. Look at that. We guided that one right into the weak spot. Now we got to pull back. Let's see. Which base do we have to get to? The one way over there? All right. Well, I'm just way too far up, so I'm going to relocate myself. Oh, shit. We we kind of fishtailed out right there. We've got someone looking at our tail. How do we get out of here? Oh, God. The old three-point turn, man. It's like driver's head all over again, except this time you're getting shot at. Alright, so we're gonna head over to where the allies are. Like, that's where we're needed, really. And we can just outrun the enemies that were chasing us. Look at the Romka 99, the Terminator. Identify target. Oh, oh shit. Good hit. Direct hit. Reloading. I love these things. Down. Hell yeah. Nine kills? Boys! Boys! Boys, we're doing it here in the crab. The combat reconnaissance armored buggy. It's a buggy. It's not an armored car, it's an armored buggy. Don't let the terminology bug you. Dad jokes for days! Rear of the turret. Yeah. Side of the tank. They got lucky. I'll show you lucky. That's lucky, you little tit. Alright, we're reloading. 20 some odd seconds of reload. We've got 18 ATGMs left. 
we've really got to make them count because I literally have nothing after this. Nice work. That guy fired an ATGM. The T90s fire their ATGMs out of their barrels. Isn't that nuts? I think that's just like the craziest thing that people have come up with that kind of technology. Out of a smoothbore gun, rifled guns you can't for, for reasons, you know, scientific reasons. Oh my god, it's a leopard. Oh, if you're going to show me that side of the turret. Oh god, oh god. Holy shit, it's a trap! No, 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 no. Get out of here. Oh my god, we got to run, boys. We got to run. That was bad. Oh my gosh. Literally run and hide. We just got ambushed. And we've got 16 HEMs left. Look at this. This guy's even getting hit over here. We just don't have the numbers left. It's just the three of us. Just the three of us. We can die if you want. We got him. But we're doing some work. Oh god. That ter that's a Terminator 2. Oh shit, he's dead. That was a Terminator 2. Hell yeah, boys. Oh, we're reloading. This guy, this T90 needs our support. We're unable to give it to him due to the long reload time. See, there's, there's definitely trade-offs. Where's the weak spots? Here we go. Come on, I need them now. Oh, that guy just fired an ATGM. Well done, yes! You helped avert a major national disaster. Yeah, I did. Using missiles and shit. But um, I definitely recommend that little premium um, rearmament. It also repairs you. Um, but since we ran out of missiles about halfway through that, we definitely needed more of them. But I'll show you how cool this vehicle is. Like, see... In World of Tanks, I remember playing it, and, like, I loved the speedy, fast tanks, but I felt like in that game you had to scout, really. There was very little opportunity to use light tanks and punish enemy vehicles. You could sneak up on artillery and stuff like that, and by no means am I a World of Tanks ace. But, um, yeah, look at this bad boy. So even though we got a gun on it, we couldn't use it. But in, so in World of Tanks, like, you had light tanks, but, like, you never really felt powerful. You felt nimble and maneuverable, like as any light scouting vehicle should. But that's what I like about Armored Warfare, in that I can use them, and they actually punish stuff. It's like destroyers in World of Warships, right? I love destroyers because they're fast and they're nimble, and then they pack a huge punch with their torpedoes. ATGMs on this crab are kind of similar. So, if we go to the upgrade, we can get uh, the Auto M242 25mm autocannon. This thing was used by American forces during operations in Iraq, and they were able to take out T-72s, which is pretty cool. So this thing's a pretty potent autocannon in its own right. But then you can upgrade it to the 30mm autocannon, and, um, or then, but well, unfortunately, unlike when we played, where are you at? The BMP T-72 Terminator 2, not to be confused with the Terminator, right? See, this bad boy, it's twin autocannons and it's ATGMs, plus it's amazing hull, which is T-72 hull, thank you very much. Some people were saying T-90. Um, but there is there should be a tier 10 based off the T-14 Armata Universal Combat Platform. But anyway, yeah, this is in a mutually exclusive platform. You get to fire your autocannons, check this out. You've got your autocannons, your 30 mils, and you've got ATGMs. So we had 30 ATGMs. This bad boy has 20. So this is incredibly, incredibly amazing. However, they operate in different, uh, you know, basically, here we're considered an armored fighting vehicle. And what is this one? Let's see, actually. Let's go to the dealers. Shishkin. Shishkin has all the cool Soviet stuff. So I do want to check out some BMPs later, which I think the other lady has. Interestingly enough. Okay, so we are an AFV, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily a scout vehicle. Um, look at that. I love the BMP T-72. Put a video up on that already. If you haven't seen it, you're going to want to. That That is a really cool weapons platform. Being able to seamlessly switch between your ATGMs and your twin 30s is great. But the Crab is an armored car. It's incredibly, incredibly fast. And yeah, it does kind of look like... 
the Halo Warthog had sex with Batman's Tumblr car, and uh, this is kind of what it came out. Like, this is a vehicle that it would be cool to have in real life. Like, let's be honest, man. That thing looks slick driving through, like, some dunes somewhere. But all right, so now let's check it out, what it looks like stock with a 25. So this is the 25 millimeter auto cannon, and this is how, like, the crab is in real life. Or, you know, the stock design, I guess you could say. And now let's check it out with a 30 millimeter M230 LF chain gun. Wow. Looks pretty similar. Um, there are slight differences. But yeah, nice angling and everything like that. But you really don't have a whole lot of armor, so it's not like you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with main battle tanks or anything like that. And main battle tanks pretty much rule tier 9. Um... But in some cases, when you load ATGMs up and you get pretty good, like, you can definitely punish enemies from afar with both the Crab and the BMP T-72. So I'm a big, big fan of this vehicle. It's fun. Although um, you really get spoiled when you're, when you're just able to tr uh, turn on your axis. You, you know, this tread's going backwards, this tread's going forward, and you can do a 360 in place. You cannot do that in the armored cars. Or armored buggies. Sorry there, Mr. Crab. Sorry. Um, you have to do like three-point turns and stuff you would as if you were driving a normal car. And, you know, so there, in some aspects, you definitely trade off your speed for kind of lower speed maneuverability. Um, you're not as mo maneuverable as a tank would be, a treaded vehicle. And that's what's kind of cool is you see all kinds of different armored fighting vehicles and armored vehicles in this armored warfare game. You've got... Um, Wheeled tanks, light tanks, or not light tanks, I mean, this is like an APC that's been upgraded. Looks like a much fancier Bradley. Let's see if we can't see some other crazy things. You've got artillery. Yeah, here we go. The M1-1128 MGS Metal Gear Solid. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Just kidding. But look how cool these things look. And then you got this little thing. Look at this. Look at this weasel, man. Look how crazy this is. People are like, yes, we will design this crazy fast little tank. Let's see what else we got. Just scrolling down. Here's another armored vehicle. I think this one was also made by Panhard, actually. Let's see. Does it say? The VBL? Details. Does it say Panhard? Because I think that's the same maker. Yeah, it's French, right? Yeah, so I'm fairly certain. Feel free to double check. Place of origin, France. Just like our favorite one. Here's the Terminator at tier 6. It's quadruple rocket tubes. Look pretty cool. Twin auto cannons. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. We got a casemate style tank destroyer. A lot of flat surfaces, though. I've never played that thing. Kind of looks like an upgraded Hetzer. You know what I mean? Very, very interesting design. Going down. Oh, look at this. Does this not look like a Yag Tiger? It looks sort of similar to a Yag Tiger, although it's a turret. Very nice. So imagine a Yag Tiger that's turreted. M2 Bradley. Oh, this baby's got ATGMs. I'm hoping. Let's see. That you can fire AT gems as well as. Oh, yeah. You've got a 25 millimeter chain gun and the tow anti tank missile launcher, which it looks like two. Oh, man. That thing's pretty sweet. <coughs> Excuse me. I kind of picked up this little bit of a cold. But I think I'm going to like vehicles that have auto cannons and AT gems. Now, this is just silly. Wow, that's an interesting design right here. Now, BMPs, this is what I wanted to check out to see if they had, like, the two different kinds of guns. <coughs> oh, man. So you've got a 100mm main gun, a 30mm auto cannon, and ATGMs? Uh, I, th I wonder if the ATGM would fire out of the gun barrel. Yeah, 100 millimeter with 30 millimeter. Let's see. 
Yeah, I think that fires out of the barrel. So it'd be it'd have to be a smooth bore barrel. Let's see if you can kind of see that. I can't zoom in anymore. So it's got a 30 millimeter auto gun, 100 millimeter main gun, 30 millimeter auto cannon that's coaxial mounted, and ATGMs. Though I think that the ATGMs fire out of the can the main cannon. So unfortunately, um, you know there's a there'd be a long reload time between switching your 100 millimeters with your ATGMs. But I mean, I, that's a really innovative weapon system. I think that's cool. It looks like you've got gas canisters you can upgrade. Let's see. Yeah, right now I'm, I'm kind of showing... Yep, you can definitely mount some smoke grenades. So that would be interesting. If this thing also had ATGM launchers externally, doesn't it look like the PT-76? Hmm. It does, doesn't it? But, um... Going down the line, showing you guys off a little bit more. The Fox. Look at that. Yes, tank turret. Oh. Can you fire ATGMs? As well as? No, it looks like you only get... No, no, no. Yeah, it looks like you can fire both. A 30 mil auto cannon. Let's see what it looks like stock. If it's any different. The stock 30 mil auto gun. Oh, it doesn't have the ATGMs. Aha! See, this is all the intricacies with Milan ATGM launcher. So I'm I'm a big fan of these multiple weapon platforms. And so, like in War Thunder, you have that to a lesser extent, right? You're able to use uh, most tanks. You have uh, secondary machine guns, coaxial mounted or home mounted MGs. In some rare instances, you have in rare instances you have something like a mouse that has a 128 millimeter main gun and a 75 millimeter coaxial mounted gun. Well, in this case, you've got your main gun and then you've got anti-tank guided missiles, which are incredibly powerful. So your secondary weapons are arguably, in many instances, more powerful than your primary gun. You got smoke grenades and stuff like that, which I don't know why World of Tanks and War Thunder don't have at this point. Oh my gosh, like. It's fun just looking through all these vehicles right here. Need service. Yeah. It's a bagels. The bagelit. The bagelit Panzer 57. But we got all kinds of stuff. Look at this. Look how funny this thing looks. The Starship. It's named the Starship, and it looks like it's an alien tank. I mean, definitely. BMBD, BMD-1. <laughs> it's got one anti-tank guided missile. That's amazing. 73 millimeter main gun. And then... It does have... Anti-tank guided missiles. Nice. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so... Let me know which vehicle you want me to drive out next, and I'll show it off. There's all kinds of different weapons, platforms, and different ways to customize it. I mean, just looking at our crab, there was three different ways to. Uh, there's three different ways to play it. We have the 25 millimeter auto cannon, the 30 millimeter chain gun, and the ATGMs, which I opted for, and they were a lot of fun. And we actually got what over 10 kills with them, which was pretty awesome. And especially when you're going up against Leopard 2s and stuff like that. Like these bad boys. Look at this. Where there's only a few weak spots really to hit. Man, that thing just looks awesome. Anyway, so let me know which tank or armored vehicle you'd like to see next. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on that like button and share the video with a friend. And ladies and gentlemen, I will see you soon.